All right, for the second part of today's lesson, you are going to be drawing negative space of a chair. So what is negative space? Negative space is the space through and around an object. It can be used artistically, can be used in design, can be used in many different ways. Like for example, in this image here from the Game of Thrones, it's a cool poster using negative space. So how do you see negative space? Negative space is going to be shapes that are between an object and the areas around. So like for instance, this triangle, and then some of these little rhombuses and rectangles and other triangles. So you're only focusing when you're drawing on those spaces. To the outside, you have to kind of think of the contours. This will help you when you do your still life project as well with other objects and looking for spatial relationships between multiple objects. For example, here I might see upside down triangles with the red. I might see squares. And then I also see with the blue lines where things might fall halfway or three quarters of the way up to an object. All right, so in Schoology, you wanna find the image of the chair and you wanna have that ready with your sketchbook and one of your pencils. Now, you wanna start with drawing negative space and you wanna allow for those spaces between to match up. So for instance, I start with some triangles like you see in the red, and then I gradually start adding some of the other shapes, making sure to leave the white is a gapped area, which is where actually the chair is. So it ends up feeling like a silhouette. You do not need to add any details. This is meant to feel like shapes, feel like negative space. Uh, so if you wanna just shade in some of those shapes, it'll help it stand out a little bit more. So now that I've finished some of those in-between spaces of the back of the chair, now I'm doing the outer contours of the chair and kind of shading the areas around. Because remember, negative space is not only the areas through, but also the areas around an object. It's just more prevalent and more obvious when you do the through or like a peekaboo type of look. So just doing the contours of the legs of the chair. I did some of the in-betweens with the triangle and kind of that like half circle type of shape that are through the chair. And then I just start shading around those legs to make that chair pop out. All right, so once you're done, take a photo and send it to the assignment. Have fun, bye.